Israel strikes militant targets in Gaza after more arson attacks. Israel bombed Gaza for the second straight day Thursday as a ceasefire signed last month appeared to be falling apart between the two sides. The Israeli government said it targeted Hamas sites in Gaza City and Khan Yunus late Thursday. Explosions could be seen in the night sky from the jet strikes. Over the past day, arson balloons were launched from the Gaza Strip into Israeli territory, the IDF said in a statement. In response, a short while ago, IDF fighter jets struck military compounds and a rocket launch site belonging to the Hamas terror organization in Gaza City and Khan Yunus. The IDF went on to say it was ready for a resumption of hostilities if the attacks from Gaza continued. Earlier this evening, the IDF chief of the general staff held a situational assessment in which he instructed to increase the IDF's readiness and preparedness for a variety of scenarios including a resumption of hostilities, in the face of continuing terror activities from the Gaza Strip, the IDF said in a statement. Sirens were also reported to have sounded in Kfar Aza, a kibbutz in southern Israel, just three miles from the Gaza border. The IDF said the sirens were triggered by incoming fire, not rockets, from the Gaza Strip towards Israeli territory. Israel said it struck Hamas sites in Khan Yunus and the Gaza brigades on Wednesday. Open hostilities boiled over into airstrikes and rocket attacks between Israel and Hamas last month, killing at least 232 people, including 65 children, in the Gaza Strip, according to the Palestinian Ministry of Health. Ten people, including one soldier and a six-year-old child, were killed in Israel by Hamas rockets, according to Megan David Adam, Israel's National Emergency Service. After nearly two weeks of fighting, Israel's security cabinet approved a ceasefire with Hamas on May 20 without any conditions.